Jessie's trying to join in. Maybe I should ask Mr Pringle to let him be our marching band mascot. Oh, what a nice thought, Julian. <coughs> Only with all that marching, it might be a bit tiring for him. I suppose so. Uh, shouldn't you be getting ready for school now? OK, Mum. Hey, look. <coughs> I found my old penny whistle. <coughs> I used to love this thing. Oh, great. Let's play, Dad. Well, might be a bit rusty, but here goes. Now then, you two. Better get a move on. Don't want Julian to be late for school. And I'd better get going too, or the post will be late. Can we play again later, Dad? I can't wait. I'm going to take this with me in case I get a chance to practice between deliveries. <coughs> oh. oh, is there room for the rest of the post, Pat? <coughs> yes, I'll get this in. <coughs> there. Come on, Jess, let's be on our way. <coughs> Here you are, Jess. Thanks, Mrs. Goggins. You're welcome. Bye, Pat. Bye. See you later. <laughs> Would you like any help getting this into your workshop, Ted? No, thanks, but I'll be fine. Hey, give that back, Jess. It's not a toy. I didn't know you played the penny whistle, Pat. It's been a long time since I did. I dug it out again to keep Julian company while he practices for the Greendale marching band. Give us a toot. Oh, I don't know. Go on. I love the penny whistle, I do. Hey, that was great, Pat. Thanks, Ted. I'd better get going, or people will be wondering what's happened to their post. Mind out, Jess. I want to get this back in the van. Bye, Ted. Bye, Pat. Oh, and thanks for the concert. Move over, Jess. How can I get the letters for the cafe if you keep getting in the way? Why don't you come and say hello to Nikhil, Jess? Thanks, Nisha. Here you are. Thanks, Pat. Mm. Mm. Oh, Sarah, they smell gorgeous. <laughs> Freshly baked this morning. Nick, you can have one with your milk. Wish I had time for one. I'll save one for when you've finished your rounds. Thanks, love. Come on, Jess, we've got to get going. I don't know what's got into you today. Come on, Jess. March, march, march! March, march, march! March, march, march! Symbols! Um, turn. They all run after the... Oh, oh dear. Mr. Pringle, Mr. Pringle, I was plagued by bongos. You should have turned. Julie and Amira bumped into us. You didn't get out of the way. All right, everyone. Don't worry. Let's start again. Meow. Here you are, Reverend. Meow. Well, I never... What's happened here? It looks wow. to me as if someone has made a snack of my post. Hello, hello, hello. What's going on here? I'm not sure. 
It looks like someone's been eating the letters. Tampering with the post is a criminal offence. I launch an investigation. That's kind of you, Arthur. But from the size of those teeth marks, I'd say we are not looking for a master criminal. Would you mind holding these, Reverend? Ah, oh, I gather the letters unto me. <sighs> it's empty. Empty, eh? Yeah. <coughs> Apart from a black and white cat. <laughs> come on, you. <laughs> Out you come. <coughs> I shall note that the mystery of the mangled letters remains unsolved. Do you want anything with that, Ajay? Mmm. I'd love one of Sarah's muffins. <laughs> <laughs> What's got into Nikhil? What is it, little man? <laughs> oh. He's probably tired. You look after Nikhil. I'll get out Jay's muffin. Thanks, Sarah. <coughs> I'll read him some of this to calm him down. The Pied Piper's his favourite book. Once upon a time, there was a piper who had a magic flute. There you are, Ajay. Thanks, Sarah. That looks deep. What's that? Oh, no! Someone's already taken a bite out of it. How on earth did that happen? How's the marching band coming along? Well, still a bit shaky, I'm afraid. I'm wondering if I'm asking too much. Expecting them to play and march at the same time, like. Oh! oh ow! Oh, that was my ow. turn! Ow. Oh, not again. Mr Prinkle, Mr Prinkle! Julia bumped me! Him and Mira got it wrong again. That's so unfair. You did! Did not! Suffer the little children, Mr Pringle, and it will all come right in the end. You trod on my toes. Shouldn't have such big feet, then. And I can see they're really suffering, so I'll leave you to it. I thought they might be teeth marks, but that's not very likely. Can you think what else could have caused it? Nay, but it's a mystery. Oh. Would you look at that? How on earth did that happen? Jess, come here. Jess? Meow. Oh, I can't believe you ate those muffins, Meow. you bad boy. I don't think it was Jess, Sarah. I think it was mice. Oh, dear. I am sorry, Jess. Look, everyone. I went to put this round Nikhil. I thought so. Field mice. <laughs> Not so fast, Jess. Poor things. They must be lost. I bet they're terrified. At least we've solved the mystery. Now we need a way to get them home again. I think I might have an idea, but I need a really big box. And I know just where to find one. Do you want to practice? Oh, it's no fun anymore. I know. It's so unfair. Everyone thinks we're no good. They'd think it was hard too if they were at the front. And when the mice eat the cheese, it pulls that rope, so the net drops over them, which tugs the broom, which pulls this, then this, which calls us by doing this. <coughs> Who would have thought it would be so complicated trying to catch a few mice, eh, Jess? At least this way, we know they won't get hurt. You've done a first-class job, Ajay. Well done. Let's go and have a cup of tea. Mm. <coughs> the mice! Let's go! Oh. oh, my, oh, my, oh, my. What's going on, Dad? 
We were trying to catch some mice, Julian. But we caught the Reverend Tims instead. Sorry, Reverend. I'm sorry to cause such a fuss. I was just checking Ajay's trap to make sure that the poor little creatures wouldn't get hurt. Don't worry, Reverend. I'll have it set up again in no time. It's too late. Look! Oh. Oh. Gosh. Stand still, everyone. I'll see if I can catch them. You dropped this, Mr. Clifton. <laughs> Thank you, Mira. I think he wants your whistle, Pat. No, he thinks Pat's the Pied Piper. Who's that? A man in a story who played a magic pipe to make all the rats leave town. The Pied Piper? Hmm, I wonder. It's working! Safely. Well done, Dad. You were a fantastic Pied Piper. And you two were brilliant. Thanks. Thanks. You know, I think we found the stars of our marching band. <gasps> yes, this truly has been an evening of celebration for all creatures, great and small. <laughs> Hey, take it easy, you two. Oh, I don't know what's got into them today. <laughs> <laughs> They're certainly enjoying themselves all right. Bye, Mrs Goggins. Bye, Pat. Oh. Oh, uh, Pat! Pat! <laughs> Oh, no, my knitted cushion. Jess. Oh, I am sorry, Mrs. Goggins. Bid for the Portage Twins Tree House. Oh, well, never mind. I'll start again. <laughs> Looks like they're having a play day today, Mrs. Goggins. See you later. Bye, Pat. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh, calamity. Hello, Ted. 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 Oh, 
Sorry, Putt. You been there long? No, no. Uh, is this the treehouse for the twins? Ah, it'll be grand when it's done. Do you need any help? Well, if you could pick up some things on your rounds, that'd be champion. Hmm. PC Selby's got some paint. Alf's giving me some wood. And your Sarah's making curtains for the windows. Oh, is she? Right you are. I'd better get on, then. See you later. Bye, Pat. <laughs> Come on, you lot. Back you go. It's good to see you. My ladder fell over. How did you manage that? It wasn't me. It was Jess and Bonnie. <laughs> Aye, that's them. They're in a right playful mood. Oh, dear. I am sorry. It looks like they're getting a bit too playful. Never mind. No harm done. So, what can we do for you, Pat? <coughs> Thanks, Alf. Ted will be waiting for these. No problem. Bye, Pat. Bye. Ted. Right you are. Thanks, Ted. No problem. <laughs> mm. That looks OK. We just need Arthur's paint now. Right. I'll go and get it. Won't be long. <laughs> Mom! Jess! Bonnie! Hey! Move along there, please. Oh, no, Jess. Bonnie, come here. Oh. Oh. Here, Jess and Bonnie. That's what happened. They ran all over our picnic. Jess and Bonnie? Yes. yes. They were only playing, Pat. 
They are causing a disturbance. I'm so sorry. I don't know what's got into them today. I'll go and find them as soon as I've finished the treehouse. Oh, yes, the treehouse. You'll be wanting your paint, won't you, Pat? Yes, please, Arthur. I got the paint, Ted. Thanks, Bat. I want to get this finished before Julia and the twins get back. OK. Watch it, you do. Hmm. <laughs> oh. Oh. Sorry, Pat. Oh, sorry, Ted. It's OK, Pat. <laughs> Ouch! Oh. After you, Ted. Thanks, Pat. Whoop! <coughs> oh. Hang on, Pat. I'll pull it off. Oh. Oh. Hey, up. <laughs> Watch out, Ted. Oh. Bye. Oh, sorry, Ted. Thanks a lot, Bat. What on It's beautiful. Can we go up, Ted? Please, please, please can please, we, please, Mr. Glenn? Can we go up? Aye. Hello. Here's the curtains I promised. And I finished the cushions. Thank you, Mrs. Goggins. You're welcome. <laughs> wow, it's great up here. I can see Thompson Ground. And the railway station. Thank you, everyone. Um, how about some tea? Tom, Katie, lemonade and biscuits. Then you can come and play afterwards. Coming! It's <laughs> I'm afraid Jess and Bonnie have been getting a bit overplayful today, Mrs. Goggins. I'm pretty sure it was them that wrecked our garden, Pat. Oh, no. I am sorry, dear. Oh. <laughs> Did you hear that? It almost sounded like Jess and Bonnie. Get down. Poor Jess. Poor Bonnie. They're stuck up there, Pat. 
Come on, Bonnie. There's a good girl. <laughs> Don't worry, Jess. You're all right. <laughs> oh, you poor wee thing. Oh, there. Hello. <laughs> That's enough playtime for one day. It's home time for you two scamps. Selby's taking her goldfish blob, and the Pottage twins are taking their sheep. Don't forget about Mira. Oh, yes. Mira's borrowing Mrs Goggins' dog, Bonnie. And which pet are you taking to the Greendale Pet Show, Julian? <laughs> <laughs> Jess, of course. <coughs> I think Jess wants to go with you, Dad. Well, he can't go to the pet show and come with me. <laughs> Hello, Dr Gilbertson. Hi, Sarah. Who are you taking to the pet show? <laughs> Sarah hasn't got a pet to take to the show. It's not fair! Oh, that's a shame. Yeah! Everybody's got to pet but me. <laughs> There's Jess. <gasps> You'll let me take Jess to the pet show? What? How very kind of you, Julian. But I... I, I meant... <gasps> <gasps> Thank you, Julian. <laughs> But... Perhaps you'd better go along with Sarah, Julian. Yes, that's a good idea. Hey, Sarah, wait for me. Come on, Julian. We've got lots to do. It's strange not having wee Jess here with us. Julian's lent him to Sarah Gilbertson for the pet show. Oh. What a kind wee laddie your Julian is. Hmm. I hope he's all right. Cheerio, Pat. Cheerio. Fetch, Bunny. <laughs> oh, well done, Mira. Bunny's really clever. <laughs> so are you. <laughs> I wonder how Jess and Julian are getting on. Hmm. Sit! Cats aren't like dogs, Sarah. They don't do tricks. Jess will soon learn. Morning, Ajay. Are you going to the pet show? Morning, Pat. Oh, yeah. Mira's really excited. Yes, Julian is too. Well, he was. Now, don't be silly, Jess. You've got to look your best for the pet show. Jess hates being fussed over, Sarah. Who's going to be a beautiful pussycat then, eh? I told you Jess wouldn't like it. Jess? Come back! Jess! Oh, Pat, 
that. You haven't seen two stray sheep on your round, have you? Mm, no, Julia. Well, have you lost them? Well, the twin sheep got out of their field first thing this morning. We've been trying to catch them, but they keep running away. Oh, dear. And on the day of the pet show, too. Mm, the twins are going to be so disappointed. Mm. Meow. Come on, Dotty. Look, Dotty, look what I've got for you. Wait, come on, Dotty. Well done, Jess. Back in a cage at last. We'd never have caught Dotty without your help, Jess. Jess! Oh. Are you in there? <laughs> Hello again, Dr Gilbertson. Have you lost something? Oh, Pat. Um, we seem to have lost Jess. Oh, no. What happened? Well, uh, it's a long story, Pat. Uh, Julian and Sarah are out searching for him now. Oh, dear. I'd better see if I can find them. Bye, Dr Gilbertson. Bye, Pat. And sorry. In you go. We're going to lose them again, Tom. Come this way. Thank you, Jess. We'd have missed the pet show if it wasn't for you, Jess. <sighs> Charlie, have you seen Jess? He ran away. We can't find him anywhere. He was here earlier. He helped me catch my guinea pig. Hello, everyone. Oh, Dad, we've lost Jess. Yes, I know. Don't worry. He can't have gone far. I'll go and look for him in the van. Can I come with you, Dad? Of course you can. I'll carry on looking round here, Julian. Sorry we can't help, Pat. I said we'd meet the vicar on the village green. The pet show's due to start soon. <gasps> oh. Where are you? Jess? Jess? <laughs> Hi there, Jess. <sighs> We've lost Bonnie's ball. Hi, Bearer. Have you seen Jess? Yes, he's just... Oh, he's gone. I've got to find him. Show. It's going to start soon. Bonnie and I are waiting for Mrs. Goggins. Okay. Wow. See you soon, Mira. Bye, Lucy. Jess! 
Where are you, Jess? Come on, Jess! 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 Hello, Mr Pringle. Hello, Reverend Timms. Hello, Lucy. Hello, Blob. Where well, you're early. I wanted to settle him down before everybody arrived. He's not been to many pet shows. Ah, oh, Jess! What are you doing here? I think he likes Blob. Jess, where are you? Jess! Jess! Oh. We could try Greendale Farm, Dad. I've already been there, Julian. Let's take a look round the village green. <coughs> Mira Beans and Bonnie. <coughs> Katie and Tom Pottage with their sheep, Parsley and Sage. <coughs> Pleased to meet you, ladies. Don't forget us, Dad. As if I'd forget Dotty. <whistles> and Lucy Selby with her goldfish, Blob. And last, but by no means least... Yes! Oh, there you are. You've had us all worried, Jess. Ooh. Oh. Oh. <whistles> Sarah. Jess is your pet, Julian. You should take him to the show. Oh, thanks, Sarah. <laughs> anyway, he likes you a lot more than he likes me. Can I have your attention, please? The Reverend would like to announce the winner of the Greendale Pet Show. <clears throat> it's been a very hard decision. <laughs> You'll have to speak up, Reverend. All the animals were wonderful. Hear, hear. So every one of them will get a prize. Okay, quite right, too. Hooray! Oh, yes! <laughs> but there's a special prize. <gasps> And that prize goes to Julian's cat, Jess. Hooray! A little bird told me that without Jess's help, Charlie would never have caught Dotty the guinea pig. And, and we wouldn't have found our missing sheep. <coughs> and Bonnie would have never found her ball. Thank you, Jess, for being such a helpful pet. <coughs> Let's hear it for Jess. Hip, hip. Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Well, now we know what you've been doing all day, Jess. Meow.